This was a patient of mine who came to us as an adult with considerable amount of open bite. Look, this is the same individual one year later. Open bite, do you have one? Time for some PFO and see, know where you're going. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about open bites today. What is an open bite, you might say? Well, I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna tell you a few things about open bites that I think you'll have fun with. And I'm gonna show you a really sweet case about somebody who had an open bite and then got rid of it. How is that possible? With some Invisalign, in case you're wondering how you fix an open bite. Well, there's actually lots of different ways to fix an open bite, depending on what the reason for your open bite is. So first off, what is an open bite? Traditionally, mm, Traditionally, remember, we just, you can check out our other videos. We've got three different O words, at least. We've got open bite, overbite, overjet, right? So they're all different. Remember, overjet is what most people call overbite, but orthodontists call it overjet. That's the amount of space between your top teeth and your bottom teeth, right? The top teeth are in front of your bottom teeth. Most people walk around like, I have an overbite. Well, you actually mean is I have excessive overjet, right? So there's that. We want everybody to have a little bit of overjet, at least, right? We don't want any underbites. That. Well then what we also want is we want our top teeth to come down past our bottom teeth. That is what we call or measure as overbite. Folks that have top teeth that come way down past their bottom teeth have deep overbites and it can actually put their tissue and teeth at risk for damage long term if not managed. So check out that video. Finally, some folks actually don't have any overbite. They have what we call an open bite and they can have open bite anywhere. It could be in the front where their teeth don't touch, right? Look. See how the teeth only touch in the back and it's open, meaning that there's space in between the top and the bottom teeth all the way around. Some folks have just open bite like from here to here. Some folks have open bite from here to here, here to here, different places. I'm gonna show you just a few pictures, different types of open bites. Check out, this is an example of an open bite. Notice how the teeth right through here, they come up and down and there's a big space in there. You can see the tongue. So that's an example of an open bite. Ooh, look at this one. This is showing an example of an open bite on the side. So here's the the front and then you've got an open bite on the side. Those teeth aren't touching. Here's another example, open bite in the front and ooh, look at this open bite. Looks like some permanent teeth are trying to come in right here and right here and they haven't come down all the way. So technically that bite would be considered open. This is an open bite. Here's the front teeth and then look at all these back teeth. They're not touching, right? So that's a posterior open bite or an open bite in the back. Okay, check this out. This is an x-ray of an open bite. See how this person is only hitting in the back right here on those teeth. Here's the lower jaw and here's the upper jaw right this lower jaw is down like this not closed down all the way okay so there can be different reasons why somebody would get an open bite one reason one common reason you saw where the permanent teeth were coming down okay so that that is an open bite technically but we know the reason why the reason why that in that case there's an open bite is because the teeth haven't come down all the way so even though that is by definition an open bite it's not like a real open bite that will last likely because as those top teeth and the permanent teeth, when they erupt into place, they close the open bite. Teeth tend to move into position until they're touching something. So as long as they're not touching, they tend to come down unless something is in the way. So in that case, we understand that the reason why the teeth aren't touching, you have an open bite, is because the teeth haven't come in all the way, right? Another reason why you might get an open bite, at a young age, thumb sucking. You know who you are, all right? If you're a thumb sucker and you put that finger in right here, this is the top teeth, and you put them right, you like the, we like the way that it feels. I, I used to be a thumb sucker, okay? I'm, I'm trying to just be open and upfront about it, all right? But I'm not anymore, I'm not anymore, promise, okay? You stick your thumb up in there and you rest it against the palate of your mouth. And then over time, what happens is as these permanent teeth come into place, they can't come down. And so these teeth right here, they tend to stay up and maybe forward. You can see kind of the, of a thumb sucking teeth, right? And for those of you out there, parents, if you've got a thumb sucker, especially once you start seeing some permanent teeth come in, right? That's definitely the time where you're hoping to be done with the habit. You wanna, you, you know, when we're younger, young, young, maybe it's not like the end of the world, but but as we get older, we definitely want to get rid of the habit because bones and teeth are starting to come in and starting to adapt their more final position, morphology. And being a thumb sucker can lead to an open bite that's a little bit more challenging to correct versus just getting rid of the habit and letting the teeth and the bones come in the way that they should. So watch out for that. Another reason why you could have an open bite, somewhat common reason why you might have an open bite is the way that your bones grow. Sometimes your lower jaw grows down and your top jaw grows up. And so you get like, you know, 
that looks like kind of like a crocodile. But the more your bones grow down, the more your top jaw grows up, the more likely your teeth in the front and around may just have a hard time coming together. When you have bones that are contributing to your open bite, that is a little bit more complicated treatment. So what do you do with all of this, all right? Well, if you've got an open bite because your teeth just haven't come in, you just give it some time, right? Give it some time, keep your tongue out of the way. So don't be like thicken your tongue through because you know over time, if it's there a lot, it can keep your teeth from moving where they should. Or if you're a thumb sucker, right? Get rid of your thumb sucking habit. And that should, over time, it might take several months, allow your teeth to come down more into a normal position. If your bone, if your top jaw has already been influenced by the thumb sucking habit, you, you may need something like an expander to help out. You might also need braces and or rubber bands. Just talk to your local providers, okay? Sometimes just getting rid of the habit can allow your bones and your teeth to come back to a more normal position, but it takes time. Finally, you know, if you've got bones that are really, or just the rest of your teeth, maybe you're an adult now and your teeth are still open, you've got open bites in the front, then you're looking at something more complicated like full braces or Invisalign, which is what I want to talk to you about. Rubber bands, maybe surgery, maybe taking out teeth. There's all sorts of techniques to try and help get your open bite to close because we want everybody to have a closed bite. That's what we think in the orthodontic profession is considered the most ideal, cosmetically, functionally, and from a stability standpoint. So, all right, I want to show you this really sweet case. Invisalign is an excellent tool, especially when it comes to closed closing open bites. Let me show you. This was a patient of mine who came to us as an adult with considerable amount of open bite. Look, only the teeth in the back are touching here and here. So what we decided to do was use Invisalign and some rubber bands. The Invisalign are the plastic trays that go over all the teeth. So we got trays on the bottom and we got trays to go on the top, right? And then we used rubber bands over time in this area with the Invisalign to try and pull the teeth down. Same thing here. We're trying to close this bite. This is the same individual one year later. And what we did was we took these teeth here and here on both sides in the back and we tried to push them apart with the Invisalign. And we pushed them apart and with the rubber bands in the front, this patient was able to close the bite down to something more ideal. How cool is that? Amazing. For you open bite folks, you may want to consider the efficacy of Invisalign or the plastic treatment to try and help close your bite. There's other techniques that you can consider too. Like I said, sometimes people incorporate taking out teeth to help close bites or using rubber bands like we did. Sometimes it's just so intense that you need something like surgery. Uh, there's other appliances that you can use to try and replicate the things that we did here. For those of you out there who have open bites, consider trying to close your open bite to something more ideal. There you have it. So if you've got an open bite out there, try to figure out what the reason why you have the open bite is. If there is a reason, if there's multiple, speak with your local provider. If you're in Anna McKinney, Texas, come and see me so we can talk about your open bite and what maybe your options are to try and resolve the open bite issue. But don't worry, there are ways. Just come talk to us. Hopefully you like this video. Give us a thumbs up. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel so that we can continue to open your eyes to the wonderful world of straight teeth and how to fix open bites if you got one. That's all I've got. Just a little PF Bowen so you know where you're going. Packard out.